Jerry Gregoire with Redbird Flight Simulators. You're holding an iPad, and normally when you hold an iPad, it finds itself and thinks that it's in a spot. This would normally think that we're in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. This iPad does not think that we're in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Why is that? Well, because we're us we've developed a new technology we call Cygnus, and it's for training pilots how to use all these absolutely fabulous apps, aviation apps that have been written for the iPad. And what we've done here is uh, when you get take a, uh, an iPad to a Redbird simulator and some other simulators that we built it for, the simulator tells the iPad, hey, you're not where you think you are, you're wherever the simulation is. So right now, this simulator is flying roughly over Philadelphia, and that's where the iPad thinks it is right now. Airplanes are lousy classrooms. It's tough to learn something new in the classroom, but simulators are great for that. And now we've got a way to teach how to use these, these terrific applications like ForeFlight and WingX and Jet Flight Deck and these other products in a simulator, in a controlled environment. When you went to develop this product, you said that it took Apple a long time for them to agree to actually allow you to do this. Why was that? Well, we had some explaining to do because essentially th this technology is lying to the user about where they are. So we had to explain to Apple, this is okay for us to fool the iPad into thinking it's someplace that it's not. And here's how it's going to be used. And the fact that it's being used in an ed educational environment really helps uh, when, you, when you're explaining things to Apple because they're really behind those kinds of things. What are you hearing from instructors that have already used this technology? How are the students working with it, and are they finding it to be a useful instructional tool? Well, we've been testing this product in our laboratory. It's ready now, and we're actually shipping it now, but all the instructors and all the students that have seen it have been students and instructors in our laboratory, and they love it because this is becoming part of the curriculum now, training in the use of these applications. Now, we're sitting in front of one of your TD simulators, but this will work basically with any simulator that, that Redbird produces? Yeah, any, any simulator. And actually, uh, we built a home version of Cygnus, so it'll work with any uh, flight simulator products from flight, flight Simulator 10 all the way down to Flight Simulator 98. It'll also work with Lockheed Martin's product, ESP, and X-Plane 9 and 10. So it's a lot of platforms it'll run on. Can you show us some of the functionality here as we're looking at this airplane flying in the Philadelphia area? Well, the I'm not an expert in, in, in all these <laughs> applications. Of course, it's important to remember these are applications aren't ours. Our, our functionality puts the airplane inside other people's applications. This is for flight right here, and right now we're looking at this airplane traveling north of Philadelphia over a sectional. Jerry, is this a, a plug-and-play product? Is it something they just walk up to their flight simulator? plug it in and suddenly the iPad thinks it's wherever you are? Well, that's pretty close. The, the package comes with a, with a flash drive uh, with uh, software that downloads itself onto your computer. And there is a wireless version of this and a wired version. The wireless version includes the Bad Elf BTGT GPS device, which is a Bluetooth device, which when used in an airplane, broadcasts GPS position to your iPad for using these applications in a real airplane take it out of the airplane, walk it into a simulator, and plug it up to the simulator, and suddenly it's broadcasting where the simulation is. And that's altitude, airspeed, all the important things you need for these applications. So it's shipping now. Uh, what kind of a client base are you seeing, and how is it being received? We have an install base of about 700 simulators worldwide, and this is going to be going, obviously, to all of those. Jeppesen, one of our marketing partners on this, has offered anyone that buys Cygnus a six months free subscription for their navigation database and their flight deck, and that's really important because Jeppesen happens to be one of those companies, the only company that has charts for everywhere around the world, and about half of our simulators go overseas, so that's pretty exciting, but this is really new. I mean, this is there, this is a real one of a kind. There, there's nothing quite like Cygnus, and maybe we won't always be the only one, but uh, we'll be the only one for a while. So taxes, tags, title, destination, charge, dealer prep out the door. Well, for a home user, it's about $199 for this, which is great. You know, great to use even with uh, your home setup of a flight simulator. For the schools, it'll be about $500 add-on for their simulator, so it's very inexpensive. Jerry Gregoire with Redbird Flight Simulators. Thanks for joining us again on Aero TV. Hey, thanks a lot. Nice to see you guys again. Aero TV is brought to you by
Avidyne is the brand of choice for pilots who want innovative, easy-to-use avionics, and the new IFD 540 and 440 FMS GPS Navcoms set a new standard for ease of use and simplicity. As plug-and-play replacements for legacy 530 and 430 series navigators, the Hybrid Touch user interface of the IFD 540 and IFD 440 makes it much easier to access the information you want while reducing head down time and making flying more enjoyable. Now you have a choice, and the choice is easy, Avidyne.